It's been roadblock after literal roadblock for businesses in the little town of Richmond, Illinois, on the Wisconsin border. First, they lost business to their open neighbors to the north. Now, as CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey reports on the cusp of reopening, they're worried that an ill-timed construction project might physically keep their patrons away. Tomorrow's the big day for businesses like the Hideaway Inn to reopen to their patrons, but they're running into one obvious problem. After hand dipping chocolates for 101 years, Anderson's Candy Shop refuses to give up without a fight. Well, that is our concern right now is just, you know, hanging in there and hanging on until we can get to our busy time. <sighs> After the stay at home order was issued, the next hurdle came two weeks ago when neighboring Walworth County, Wisconsin opened for business. All right, thank you thanks. for stopping in today. No worry, thanks. Now, on the eve of finally getting their chance to reopen, the road project I learned about last week that was completely just. What? <laughs> could could that timing be any worse? IDOT announced the project on May 13th, patching and resurfacing the main drag in Richmond, widening the shoulders and updating the sidewalks. Well, this was a uh, bit of a surprise. Sidewalks like the one leading to the front door of Brian O'Connor's gaming lounge on the corner. You know, I wish it would have been planned a little bit differently a little earlier, but it is what it is. We reached out to IDOT about the decision to start work right as businesses enter phase three of the Restore Illinois plan. A spokesperson said the project has been in the works since 2018. They were contacted by a business owner with concerns about access, and IDOT says they will work to address any issues. Why tear up these relatively new-looking sidewalks? IDOT says they weren't responsible for the recent work, and they aren't ADA compliant. So now these hardworking business owners hope that this latest challenge will push their patrons even harder to come out and support them. It's unfortunate timing, but we're hoping that everybody kind of rolls with it and it goes really smooth and quick and is done fast. We've got a really good group of, you know, customers and friends that come in here and I'm looking forward to it. IDOC tells me that the overall project is expected to be completed by the end of August, weather permitting, but this sidewalk portion should be completed within the next two weeks. In Richmond, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators.